Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I wanted to talk to you guys about one of my favorite art YouTubers. Her name happens to be Wendy Iris Art on YouTube. Wendy Iris, I have been admiring her artwork for a very long time and watching all of her videos on YouTube. Now, when it comes to her videos, I go to her channel for inspiration. You have probably seen a ton of her videos already. She has tons of inspirational videos like your top five sketchbooks or your top five ways to fill up your sketchbook. Remember when I did a video like that? I had no idea she was the original person to come up with the prompt of five ways to fill up your sketchbook. That is by far my favorite video of her. It just inspires me because her drawings, if you haven't noticed, her drawings are incredibly detailed. She has such a talent for detail and for backgrounds. I mean, Wendy Iris has the best concept for when it comes to backgrounds and she's really good at patterns as well as designs that you would, I mean, designs you would see on typical folders at school or just mandalas. I mean, she is amazing when it comes to patterns and I admire that so much about Wendy Iris because I can't do that. I can't go crazy with details and that's where she's incredible when it comes to all of this. Now let's talk about this piece. So we challenged ourselves to, she drew me a girl because she knew that my favorite art tool and medium happens to be watercolor. So she drew this amazing design of a girl who is watercolor, who is representing watercolor. So I was really excited about this and I went ahead and I printed it off on hot press paper because I've never worked with hot press watercolor paper before. So I thought this would be the perfect chance for me to do this because I'm a little iffy when it comes to printing out on watercolor paper, especially my cold press watercolor paper with my printer because I'm really scared it's gonna probably um, smudge around a ton. But what I did was I printed out on this hot press paper and I used my Koi watercolors. So I used watercolor on this watercolor girl. It only seemed appropriate, but this watercolor girl is amazing. And the thing that I really wanted to focus on first, because I'm so, when I, my art is usually focused on the focal point, which is the character, but Wendy Iris has a thing for backgrounds. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you just need to go and click on her channel and check out all of her designs of her characters surrounded by these glorious patterns and backgrounds. I mean, they're flowers. Oh, goodness gracious. She, she She's already an amazing illustrator, but she needs to get a deal with, I don't know, Scholastic to be one of their official illustrators. Oh my goodness. What I wanted to do was do the background first and save the girl for last, kind of challenging myself in a way. And so when it came to the, doing this background, I mean, it is a challenge. Look how much detail. And I wanted to do it justice because it's such a beautiful design that she came up with. I had to spend time on this piece. So it literally took me about three days to do this entire piece. I, I just, I, I knew that I did not want to half butt this. I wanted to do it properly because Wendy Iris's art deserves this. I'm going to tell you guys right now that if you want to see what her favorite art supply is, I'm not going to tell you. You have to go over on her channel and check out what her favorite art supply is. That way you can see what girl, or should I just hint, hint, say princess, what princess I inspired off of her favorite artistic tool and artistic medium. So go over to her channel. The link is going to be down below as well as right here. And I want you guys to go ahead and check out her channel and subscribe to her because I, I mean, if I get my inspiration from her a lot, then you need to go get your inspiration from her. Another great thing about Wendy Iris is that one, she actually does a ton of tutorial videos as well as, as art reviews. So she goes through all of, uh, she does all these art reviews and she reviews art supplies that I don't even think of. 
but it's just it really is awesome and I, I am in love with the five ways everything that she all these videos of the five ways to do things or to be inspired those are my favorite videos of hers and she has um, incredible material and you guys need to go check out the five ways to use fine liners or five ways to do inktober or she just recently posted five ways to, for valentine's day the list goes on and on and it's just it's incredible it's incredible. Wendy Iris Art, you gotta go subscribe to her, people. She's amazing. Thank you so much, Wendy Iris Art, for doing this amazing collab with me. This was a lot of fun because it was a challenge, and plus, I just love coloring other artists' artwork. So yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go and subscribe to Wendy Iris Art, and I hope you will go and check out my video over on her channel. I'll leave in the link down below. I will talk to you guys later. 